pumpkin pound cake batter. So excited. Hi everybody, it's Dan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today to kick off the fun, delicious autumn season, we're going to be making a pumpkin pound cake. It's going to be it's going to be similar to the Starbucks pound cake, but you know, you don't got to wait in line and hope that nobody grabs the last slice because that's just rude. So we're going to make our own. It's going to be fun. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be so tasty and you're not going to want to share it with anybody. So before we start, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I will go ahead and throw a link down below to my full recipe for this delicious pumpkin pound cake. And before we start, don't forget that the giveaway link for the KitchenAid Stand Mixer is going to be down below in the description. So be sure to stay tuned at the end of the video for more information. Now let's go ahead and pre your oven to 350 degrees and get started on this delicious pound cake. So let's start with our dry ingredients. So let's grab a mixing bowl and to that we're going to go ahead and add in one and a half cups of flour, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of ground clove, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. See, everything autumn is all right here in this bowl. It already smells so delicious and we didn't even start baking yet. But let's go ahead and whisk together all of our dry ingredients. Once you have those whisked, go ahead and set that bowl aside. Grab another mixing bowl and let's start on our wet ingredients by adding in 2 3rd cup of white sugar, 2 3rd cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of milk, and egg whites from 3 eggs. Now let's go ahead and whisk all these ingredients together until they are fully combined. Then we're going to finish that off by adding in one full can of pumpkin puree. And back in with our whisk and get that pumpkin really incorporated with the rest of our wet ingredients. Once you have all those ingredients fully combined, let's go ahead, grab our dry ingredients or bring them back to the party and add in all of our wet ingredients. And then for the last time with your whisk, we're going to go ahead and whisk all these together for a good two to three minutes on a medium speed until everything really comes together and you have that delicious, wonderful smelling pumpkin pound cake batter. So excited. Now let's go ahead and pour our batter into our prepared pan lined with some parchment paper so there's no sticky bottoms. And once you have your pan all filled up, let's go ahead, place that in the oven and let bake for a good 60 to 65 minutes or until a cake tester comes out clean. Either way, you'll know what it's done though, but you shouldn't need any longer than a full 65 minutes. So our pumpkin pound cake has baked, it's cooled. I've already sliced it and had a slice because I am impatient. I love my pumpkin and I could not wait, but it smells and looks so, so good and you can just, mm, the texture of it is just wonderfully perfect. And it's just a nice, great, just a little snack, a little treat. Spread some apple butter on there or some cream cheese and you are good to go with all your pumpkin needs. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Don't forget to check out the description for the full recipe on my blog. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up. This way, you know, it helps me out. It lets me know I'm sharing recipes and baking things that you guys are all enjoying. And while you're down there, click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any delicious, yummy autumn recipes. And while you're down there, the KitchenAid Sand Mixer giveaway link is gonna be down there also. So click that, enter, get in on that action because you're gonna wanna win one of these KitchenAid Sand Mixers. I know you are. I want to, I can't but I want to. And if you make your own delicious Starbucks pound cake, give a tag on Instagram. Or if you have your other you know, favorite Starbucks autumn treat, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure we can whip something up easily. You know, save yourself a trip to Starbucks. 
I mean, I would probably still go regardless because I love my coffee, but you know, we can start here, go to Starbucks after, it's a win-win. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.